At the end of the last video, I showed you a script that I made that automated this whole process of setting up this particular symmetrical workflow. And I showed you where you can download that script, but that has since changed. So now if you just go to my website, graphics.com slash mel dash scripts, that'll take you here. And it's uh, under construction. I'm not much of a web designer, but you can find the script right here. And that's where you can download it. And there's a problem that you may run into from time to time when you're doing this. And um, that is, if you duplicate the object, make the connection. Out mesh to in mesh. This seems fine. No surprises here. But let's say I were to make some pretty significant modifications to this object. Right now, this is just a cube cut in half. I haven't really done much else to it. But let's say I cut the cube in half and then I move a bunch of vertices around. So now if I try the same thing, let's see what happens. Connect out mesh to in mesh, and the whole thing's all crazy now. It almost looks like a double transform has been applied to each vertex that I moved on the original part. And we don't want that. So what we need to do is find some way to um, uh, rebuild the topology of this copied object. So right now, for whatever reason, it must be a bug in Maya or something, this vertice knows that it's been moved because uh, it has been moved on the base object anyway. I moved this vertex, I moved these ones. Um, so even on the one we duplicated, these vertices still know that they're not in their original position. And that's going to create the double transform as soon as I make the out mesh to in mesh connection. So I need to find a way to uh, redefine this object so that it, all the vertices are reset to zero, I guess. And one way to do that is to apply a smooth modifier. So you see right now the whole thing's all messed up. It's uh, been smooth. I don't want that. But it has rebuilt the mesh. So now that that's happened, I can change my divisions to zero. And I end up with the same shape I started. But now everything's been reset, if you want to think of it that way. So I can delete history. And now let's try to make the connection again. There we go. And now that worked fine. And also, you should know the, the script I made, it takes that into account. So if I were to run the script on this object, you won't first need to duplicate it and apply a smooth with zero divisions or anything like that. If you run the script, it'll do that for you. And it'll behave just as you'd expect it to. So I hope this works well for you, and if you come across any problems, let me know.